Hi and welcome to On The Pot Clive Live. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you a storage tip for garlic. Um, basically all we're going to do here is uh, we're going to take a whole bulb of garlic like this. I've actually broken the cloves off. We're going to chuck it into a metal receptacle of some sort. You can use a cocktail shaker or you can do what I'm doing now and just use a pan. I've got to dance around the kitchen a bit now. Put something like bambaleo on or something like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Loads of that. Right, let's see what we got in here now. Okay, what we got here is a lot of the garlic has been pushed, smashed out of their skins. Sounds like somebody on a Friday night, really, doesn't it? And basically what you're going to end up with is this, okay? And, uh, cool. I'm out of breath, man. I'm going to just, just knock off these knobbly ends here. Uh, nobody likes a knobbly end, eh? Give me a second here. Well, I'll catch my breath and also knock the knobbly ends off. What we're going to do now is we're going to take a little hand blender like that and we're going to chuck them in there. We're not going to, we are going to smash them actually, but we're not going to blitz, 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 blitz. We're going to pulse them because you don't want to turn this garlic to mush. So, sorry about the noise. Okay, it's all breaking down nicely now, but we need it just a little bit finer than that. We'll take a tiny drop of olive oil, okay? You can use extra virgin, you can use, uh, well, just box standard olive oil, but we're just gonna put a drop in there for now, because we don't want to pulp this we want it in nice, chunky little bits here. Okay, that's really breaking down now. There you go. That's how it should look. I'm just going to give it a little nuts more olive oil and one more little pulse, and then I'm happy. Bear with. That's how you want it looking. Nice, eh? The next step, grab yourself I've already got some in there, that's come out of the fridge. <laughs> nice. We're just going to spread those around just a little bit here. Just a tiny drop more olive oil. That's what you'll end up with. That is so you don't have to keep chopping garlic every time you want to cook something. That's going in my fridge. That'll keep in there. Well, if I did one or two whole bulbs of garlic, um, I'd have enough in there for about a week to 10 days. But listen, thanks very much indeed for watching. Uh, stay safe, stay cooking, and uh, hope you make the garlic.